Now that we have the front of our postcard completed, let's move on to the back. On our second page, select the line tool on the toolbar, and then set the thickness to one point on the control bar at the top of the screen. Then hold shift and drag a horizontal line. Now let's be sure to switch back to the selection tool. Since this is a tool we switch back to quite frequently, it's definitely worth noting that the keyboard shortcut is to simply tap the V key. That's V as in Victor. Now we can duplicate the line a few times by holding Alt or Option and dragging, just like we did with the text box earlier. Let's also hold Shift to drag perfectly straight down. And let's do that a few more times and use the smart guides to get four evenly spaced lines. Note the double-headed arrows that show us when we've achieved even spacing. It's also not too late to easily increase or decrease the spacing of the group of lines. Click and drag around the lines to select them all, then grab the bottom selection handle and drag up or down. That spaces out the whole group. Now we'll click away and select the bottom line and make one extra copy by holding Option and dragging it again. Then we'll rotate this line 90 degrees and move it to the center of the page. Let's also stretch the height of it from the top margin all the way down to the bottom margin. We also have some text to add to this side, so we need to create a new text frame and drop in some body copy. We'll go to File, choose Place, and then select the text document provided with the sample files. Now let's select all the text and style it. For our font, we'll use PT Sans Bold at a size of 10 points. For letting, we'll choose 15 points. And as for the spacing between all the characters, tracking, we'll choose 5 points. Now press Escape to exit the box, and click our orange swatch from earlier to fill the box. Now we need to adjust the spacing between our text and the edge of the box. Right-click or secondary-click on the text box, and choose Text Frame Options. In this panel, we want our inset spacing to be 0.625 inches at the top and 0.25 inches on the sides and bottom. Since we're entering different values in these boxes, we've got to unlink the boxes by clicking here. Now we can type 0.625 for the top and 0.25 for the rest. Then click OK. Now that we've got that spacing resolved, Let's drag the top of this box all the way up to the bleed margin. We've still got some more text formatting to do in here, so let's click again on the text box and highlight the name of the lecture, Finding Creativity in an Urban Space. With this text highlighted, click that text style that we saved earlier on the CC Libraries panel. We also have a couple more graphics to place, so we'll go back to File, choose Place, and select both the Icons file and the Stamp file by holding Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. Click Open, and your cursor will be loaded up with both images. Click once to place the first image, and again to place the second. Let's center align the social media icons with the text box against the bottom margin, and put the stamp in the top right corner, snap to our margins. Lastly, we'll create a triangle using the Polygon tool in the toolbar. We'll click and hold here, choose the Polygon tool, and then click on the page to bring up a dialog box. We'll choose three for the number of sides, and then click OK. Now press V on the keyboard to switch back to the selection tool, and now we can size and position our triangle. We want it to point downward from the center of our orange text box. That's looking good.